All right, I hope everybody's been having a good break thus far. Uh, what I'm going to look at today is just a kind of a quick how-to on using the splines, 3D splines in uh, Starting Plus. So within the 3D CAD model, you're allowed not only to just import, for instance, a, a CAD model, like a parasol step I just, uh, but you can also bring in a 3D curve. So the 3D curve, by definition, is going to be X, Y, and Z with comma separating each one of the points. And this can be as complicated and as long a file as you'd like. Uh, but what I'm doing for this particular example is just showing essentially a square, so x, then y, negative x, negative y, back to the start. So this will form a closed loop. So let's see what that looks like when we import that. So the first thing is I'm going to import the 3D CAD curve. Go to my desktop, and we'll pull in this CSV file. So you'll see I have two options. First is a spline, and second is a polyline. So let's start out by looking at the polyline. And yes, this is a closed curve, and I do want it in a laboratory coordinate system. So what the polyline will do, zoom out here, is give me straight sections between each of the data points, in a sense giving me a square. So I can then take this curve, let's create uh, an extrude off of it. We'll just make this go up, let's say a meter. All right. So now that I have that, you'll see now I have my uh, my cube. So let's say, for instance, we want to import this a little bit differently. Now, uh, as far as right-clicking goes, you're not allowed to replace, as you are with parts or some of the other things in Starting Plus. But you can get the same effect by rolling back your model and then importing the curve again. 3D curve. Grab this. And this time we'll do it as a spline. And again, it's a closed curve. So this time it's going to actually interpolate between each point generate a spline. So now you'll see we have a circle. So this is 3D curve 2. Now all I need to do is roll back to the end and what we're going to do is edit the extrude and instead of calling the 3D curve 1, I'm just going to click on 3D curve 2 and call that instead. So now there we go. So now we have a replaced component. So this can get very very complicated. Now remember it's 3D so you could create an arc or you could create a uh, spiral, anything like that. And if you take a look at the help, you'll be able to see kind of what's possible. Now you can go all the way into uh, generating whole forms or generating complicated airfoil shapes. Uh, there's some good websites out there to generate NACA airfoils in the same format as far as text file goes. So it's a quick way to get in NACA airfoils. Great. So that was a quick how-to on 3D uh, blinds. Thanks.